is doing handstands. Is doing handstands. By the plaza, by the church. Discovered a whole new Malacan. Yeah, to the other side, in the opposite uh -huh, direction. To the of south Mata, of Mallorca. where we've been. Well, I don't know if it's north, south, east, or west. But it's in the opposite, to getting further away from Palma de Mallorca. Amazing. So, of course, Olga's going off road immediately. This is nice. It's only like uh, 300, 400 meters from the boat harbor, but it's in an area where the tourists aren't coming. Olga has said you get 100 meters off the road and nobody's there. You can see the beautiful colors in the water. I'm not sure how it is on the film, but it's very uh, rich, distinct turquoise and slate blue. Again, that's Pominova, straight across. Olga really gets inspired.
where they carved out blocks to use. Okay, we've just come through the entry at Pompeii. Olga's hopped up on coffee and uh, looks like school groups all around us. But it's a beautiful day, it's about 60, sunny, and the ruins start immediately. I'm now going to get and ahead of that group. Here we go into Pompeii. We didn't go for the guide, we, we liked the wandering tour. And uh, looks like we're crossing a moat, but I think it's probably the ruins already beginning. There you go. Huh? Okay? Have a fun day. Well, here he comes, huh? trotting away. So quite unexpectedly, we were told about this road that is completely hugging the coastline. And it's even shorter to Mzongi, and I believe one of those villages up ahead is Mzongi. Not sure which one, haven't looked it up. But uh, it was 8.3 kilometers from where we had our coffee, and this is supposed to be less than that. Either way, it's most beautiful. It actually reminds me of Bon Air, and if you've been there, you know exactly the spot right in that north area there. And the water is pretty nice. As far as I know, no corals at this, at this junction, but lots of sea grasses and other, and other life, marine life. It's a beautiful place, well worth visiting. Corfu. And with the next turn, another incredible building and playa, plots they call it here. This one's a park, We've got fountains. Memorials, trees are budding out. And our Google Maps keeps correcting because we keep taking little side tours. Let the sun, sun come from behind the clouds and they'll be swimming, huh?
twists and turns continue. We're going to get on the flight to Morocco. So from Turin, we're heading downtown to the train station. Still trying to change money. Yeah, it's three, three days now. It's Easter Sunday. But we've already met uh, barnyard animals and uh, it's a beautiful day. The sun's come up. And then uh, we're our next destination on the uh, regrouping is we're going to Verona and we'll take a bus or a train. We'll see how that goes a little later. And the arches. Today is Labor Day in Italy. That's a national holiday. Olga is particularly energized today after being in the house for a few days. What I call getting some heavy rest. We finally get out and take a look around. And this is just on the way into town, <clears throat> city center, Verona. It's very, nice, it's very elegant. Yes, very good. Did you see the ones inside there? Very, oh, very wild. I actually try not to because then oh. I'll have to go inside. Uh huh. You would have to leave the budget travel industry behind. Olga has that side of her.
but the adventure remains within the tra budget travel. Sphere. Yeah, I, I would rather go to ten countries on a budget than one country and crazy financial. <clears throat> the reason I brought up about the uh, budget travel and making arrangements is that today we uh, we booked our flight back to the states for June and uh, it's a puzzle part it puts puts a point in place uh, uh, the airfares are going up and uh, we found an extremely good fare that is like a hundred dollars less than uh, a day later or a week later, so we went ahead and made the booking. I'm not so much often uh, taking these fashion shots. <laughs> it's a strange morning. It's always a strange morning, <laughs> which makes it a normal morning. That one says Vigano with an I. Where? Maybe it's yeah, a name. This is not food. <laughs> People are definitely out today. Just for a COVID check-in, uh, we have our masks on, but uh, we're only wearing them when we're in with a big group of people. And uh, I've had the discussion with Olga, I know nothing scientifically, but I think the move from pandemic to endemic is underway. We hope for the best and adjust, adjust as necessary. But I'm looking at that jackal up there. People are hanging on it. And that's number 28. And it keeps going up and get some exercise bending backwards. Ciao. Well, we just walked in on a flash mob. Something for the holiday. Give a little hope to people, huh?
some uh, secondhand clothes on the side of the road, and as we approach, it's not just a rack, it's a market. So we're headed in. If we had been here earlier in the day, this would have been on every street and sort of every family represented, clearing out the house, selling trinkets, trash, and treasures. Sometimes I find old coins and old currency notes, not much value, but uh, very interesting for the collectors. Uh, getting low, so I'm going to shut down for now.